Good morning, guys. Well, I just woke up. Good morning. It's November 8th, and yesterday I did my lymph check. Um, well, first I'm going to say introduce this video. This is my first time doing an updo, and this is uh, synthetic hair. Was this Ross, Rossafree? Yeah, Rossafree Brave for People. Okay. And these are the colors that blend in with my hair color. If you see a little brown, whatever. So, I don't have a perm in my hair. I only flat iron it so I can do my lip check. And I have a flat iron in my hair. This is what I use to flat iron my hair. Yeah, this thing costs like a hundred or something dollars, but I got it for 88 bucks. And I've been having it for over three years now. And it's still straightened my hair with just one swipe. But anyways. So, I am... Yeah. I flat on my hair to do limb check. The last time I did my limb check was July 10th, okay? Yesterday was November 7th, 2013, and I just did my limb check again. My sister came over, we did our limb check. And I went from July 10th, the back of my hair was six inches. Yesterday was November 7th, and my hair was seven and a half inches in the back. Ding, 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 ding. On the right side, it was six inches, July 10th. Yesterday, November 7th, it was eight and a half inches. Uh, the left side was six inches um, July 10th. Yesterday, the left side was eight inches. Um, July 10th, the middle was six and a half inches. And yesterday, November 7th, my hair was nine inches in the middle. And then the front was six inches July 10th. And yesterday, November 7th, it was eight and a half inches. <laughs> My next measurement I'm going to do on the anniversary of my big shot, which will be February 18, 2014. So, as you can see now, my hair is already flat ironed. And for like, since I flat ironed it, which was Tuesday, I wore it like in a cute style forward. You'll see some of the photos on my Facebook. Um, I'll post some up in this video. But after that, I'm going to use, this is going to be my hairstyle for the next two weeks. So I'm going to be a bridesmaid in my friend's wedding. And which is also the pastor's son's wedding. So, yay! My first time being a bridesmaid. After being a bride, now I'm a bridesmaid. But anyways, and I plan on being a bridesmaid some more. Wait for my, my friends to get married. But anyways, so what I have in my hair right now, of course, you know, I did the heat protectant before I flat iron it with grapeseed oil. Right now, I have my own shea butter mix in my hair. Um, I have... Curly Hansen smoothie. I put a little bit of this on my hair because I don't want my hair to super frizz up. Because I don't like the like the nappy look with the synthetic hair. Because some people just do their hair and just blow dry it up. But I don't like that. So that with my own oil mixture inside of here. Um, of course, the Maximum Eco Styler Edge Control. Boom. Play and stay seaweed alcohol free edge and style control. Ah. So I put that on my edges and smooth it through my back. Oh, get that. Mm. And I edged up my own back with my peanut edgers, which is these. Well, I edged up my whole entire head so it could be neat. Because I don't like when that um, kitchen, you know what I'm saying? It'll look nice when the hair be all down there, so I edged it up. So let's turn around and get a clear view. Okay, and then I put some more Eco Styler Gel on my hair so it can lay down. And I was looking for my satin scarf so I can make sure it lays down while I do this. But since I don't have that, temporarily, I'm going to use my stockings to make sure it all holds down, okay, around my edges. But I do have another satin scarf I can use. But for now, this is straight out the pack, okay? They get a stingy, and this is only the, the my hair came in one pack, okay? It used to be more, for those of you who do hair and remember. So I did take the, the rubber band at the top is gray, so I, my hair is not gray, so it wouldn't blend. So I took the rubber band that came in at the bottom and put it at the top, like looped it at the top. So that way I can secure this hair on my own ponytail, you know what I'm saying? So I can make it look like it's my ponytail. So you see my ponytail, 
right now this is the nine inches now I'm gonna take this and put it on my own place this is my very first time doing a freaking um ponytail with we're doing a hairstyle updo hairstyle on um, YouTube period besides my um, scarves which I always treat them like hair anyway so there you have it that's my hair but I'm gonna braid this with this now you see how it looks like it's my hair Whew. I don't think I'm ever letting my hair get this long if it does I'm definitely gonna cut it okay so now going to braid it. Now if it's not as full as I want it, I don't think I'm gonna double it. Double the braid for real for real. So let's braid. And I'm doing it in real time. Because it shouldn't take you this long to do this at all. So right now my husband is at the bank. My sister's on her way over. We about to all go shopping together. Go rest some important areas and then go shopping. I can't break that fast because the hair get tangled. But I'm used to doing this, doing hair since I was 12 years old. I'm 28 now, so this should take me no time. Okay, and it started getting stingy. Let's borrow. Keep it going. You're doing great. Keep pushing. Starting to get stingy. Borrow. Braiding. Now I got this idea from um, <laughs> Tiffany. Uh, what is her name? It's Tiffany something design. But I'm going to make it my own. I'm not going to leave it with the long ponytail hanging from the side. Because that's like not cool. And I want it to be fuller. So I'm definitely about to double it. But I'm going to double it in a different way. Okay. And at the end, I want to tie the knot in the braid here. Okay, okay, okay. It's like a slip knot. And get the longest piece of hair that's in there. Oh, we're doing good. We're in to, uh, for eight minutes. Boom. Slip knot that. It's secure, okay? But I want it to be thicker, so we're gonna add more of our pack. All right, Safari. Straight out the pack. As you notice, the bottom one is a black rubber band. The top, a gray rubber band. So I remove the black rubber band. Keep that in my finger. Discard the gray one. Those are my fabric scissors. And then we're going to loop this one going this way. Okay, uh, start braiding. And this is my first time doing this. So Lord Jesus, help me. So come out the way I want it to come out. I'm look decent. So I hate raggedy ponytails. Yeah, this one shouldn't be getting stingy. I don't have to borrow. I don't want this video to be 15 minutes because I know people won't watch it. Like, seriously. And it's okay for this part to be ragged because I'm about to, you're about to see what I'm about to do anyway. Now, you notice I didn't use the rubber band at the top this time. Since this hair seems to be thicker, I'm going to use the rubber band at the bottom of this. Okay. 
Yeah. And I'm gonna get real fancy and then burn off the little excess hairs that be sticking up. My little tiny blowtorch. Okay, now we have two braids. Alright. On my knees with this one. No gutter. Okay, Jesus, help me. We're going to wrap this one. Around them. Secure it with a bobby pin. Boom. First knot. And we have our black bobby pins. And we'll keep this. Secure. I have some brown bobby pins somewhere. This still should be fine because the new growth is black, so it's still black. Boom, that's secure. So then we're gonna wrap this one. Hmm. So typical. Yeah, let's loosen it. Okay, in the end, we're gonna put that under the braid. We're gonna hide it. That hide ministry right there. Hide those ends ministry. Hide those ends ministry. Hide those ends ministry. So I'm gonna look in my own mirror and make sure I'm doing this neat. We're going in for 12 minutes, Sharonda. Okay, and then ah. disinfect sanitation. I learned that when I was in hair school. I thought you dropped something, but in this case, floor is clean and this is just synthetic hair. So secure that. Then we have this little homie in the front. Should be secure. Let me look at my other mirror. Okay, when I did the other bobby pin, I put it right here. Hit it so you can't see it. I put it right there to make sure to stay down. So, we're done. So either you can use a flat iron, because it has heat and you know, this hair is synthetic and it will melt it into place. Or you can use a lighter. So, I'm going to use my flat iron, since it's easier and I'm right here by it. And I'm going to... Fix my eyebrows again. Put us some eye, more eyeliner. Lip gloss, and I'm done. Isn't that cute? This is going to last me for two weeks. Until next time, be blessed and deuces. Oh, yeah. I think I'm a new slogan. Keep it real with yourself.